<sighs> so I've seen so many videos of people talking about the truth about being ripped and how it's not what you think and how it's miserable and horrible and I don't agree with any of that. I don't. Uh, let me explain. So the number one conclusion all these people come to is that this is not a realistic body standard and guys we need to be more realistic. Here's my problem with that. Um, who the fuck wants to be realistic, bro? Like, that's like if somebody, that's like you telling somebody, if somebody wants to be in, like an astronaut or a lawyer or a doctor or a manager, an artist, a musician, he wants to be something outside of the norm and you look at him and you tell him, bro, let's be realistic. A lot of people do that and a lot of people think that way. But guess what? The people who think that way are the people who are stuck in a shitty job that they hate or a shitty body that they hate and they want to get out of it. They're miserable. So don't listen to that unrealistic. Yeah, it's not a part of the norm, all right? But I wouldn't say it's unrealistic. I've had that body and it was real, all right? I, I was in it, it was real. Now I'm trying to, trying to pack on weight, okay? But I've been shredded before and it was real. You see other people who are shredded. Guess what, they're real. So the unrealistic term, I hate that term, I really do. What people are basically saying and meaning when they say that is it's outside of the norm. Who the fuck wants to be normal? I don't. I mean, I'm not saying I want to be crazy, but I mean, I don't want to just follow this straight path of what other people expect, what other people say is normal, right? People around you get uncomfortable whenever you, you do something that, you know, they kind of envy you. They get uncomfortable. People try to comfort themselves as well when they see somebody else is ripped or somebody else with an awesome job or life and they say, oh, that's not realistic. Get that out of your head right now, okay? Get that up. If you have never been ripped before, you're probably one of those people saying it. And I know you're like, oh, what about the guys who are ripped and saying it's unrealistic? Well, I would still, it's not unrealistic. It's difficult. It's hard. It's not unrealistic. Unrealistic is something that's impossible. If I said I wanted to, you know, jump off a building and flap my arms and be able to fly, that's unrealistic. Okay? Having a ripped body is not not unrealistic guys guys there's no excuse so i just that that kills me when people talk about this unrealistic thing it is difficult yes and people say oh you can't maintain that well i'm going to say look at somebody like athlete next this guy i don't know how old he is but he's definitely not in his 20s all right he's not a teenager and this guy's freaking jacked all year round according to him he only has one cheat meal one cheat meal a year which is a carrot cake and that's it Guys, it's dedication. And if you decide that food is more important to you than that, that's fine. As long as that's your honest, honest, like, feeling. If you really feel inside, like, if, if you're not telling yourself that to comfort yourself. If you really feel like, nah, food is more important for me than being ripped. If you really feel that way, good for you, bro. If you're living that happy life, good for you, man. But for a lot of us, we just tell ourselves, oh, it's unrealistic. Or I'd, I'd actually rather have, you know, I'd rather enjoy my food. We just kind of say that to, to put a freaking band-aid over the truth, all right? A lot of us are too afraid to face that truth of like, hey, man, I want to be ripped, but that's a lot of work. So I had to, had to rant on that a little bit. It's not unrealistic. And here's the other thing. People talk about you being, you're tired, you're fatigued, your sex drive, your testosterone is low, you're weak. When I got ripped... I, I was, I can't even put it into words, guys. Let me just say this, before I was shredded, I was in a miserable spot, okay? I would go home from work, I would smoke weed, I would get the munchies and basically sit on the couch and watch movies and play video games until like four in the morning and then have to get up at like eight, nine a.m. for work and I'd be like lack of sleep, I'd have crumbs all over my body, there'd be like, ice cream stains on the couch and it was just process I gained so much weight I was miserable guys at that point I felt like I had control of nothing in my life you know when I got shredded it was the first time I was gonna say in a long time but probably the first time ever that I felt I had full control of something I was no longer gonna let food or genetics or my schedule or anything 
get in the way of me getting a six pack. I mean, that was my, my main goal. It was just, I want a six pack. I've never had one before. I mean, I've had like an outline where you could kind of see it, but never had like a full shredded six pack. That's what I wanted. And it was hard, but it was so worth it, bro. So worth it. And I didn't, I wasn't tired. I felt more alive than I'd ever felt. I felt like, I almost felt like I could fly. And I don't mean that in like a, like a spiritual, like, oh, I felt so like emotionally lifted I could fly. No, I mean like I felt so strong and my body was like so much lighter after losing all that weight that I could do things that like I felt weightless, okay? And when you feel that weightless, like, I mean, before I was, when I just started like lifting and like trying to turn my fat into muscle, I was like big and bulky, couldn't do anything, right? I could move weight around, but there was, I couldn't do anything athletic, right? Couldn't really run or jump. Could, it's not gonna look very good, not gonna have very good form or anything. But when I got ripped, I could run faster, jump higher and farther, do things that I could never do before. I was way, way more athletic. And it was just more, uh, more functional. It was way more functional. When you're just like some big bulky guy, uh, it's not, you know, very useful. It's not very something very functional about that. You know, maybe if some guy on the side of the road needs a tire change, it doesn't have a jack. Maybe that's your time to shine. But besides that, it's it's not it's not that great. You know, and the thing was, I got shredded. I got stronger. I was the healthiest, happiest that I had been in a long, long time. So I just don't want people out there to to think like. Oh, you know, I'm not even going to try that because I heard it's miserable and it's whatever. Um, it's not. I'm going to do it again here soon. Uh, I bulked up uh, for two reasons. Number one, because I got married. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it for you. That'll put on some weight. But number two, because I wanted to bulk up. I wanted to gain some size before I cut again um, and get that shredded again. Because when I was at shredded, I was happy with everything. I was not happy with my legs. Uh, saw my legs and I was like, man, these things need to be bigger. So try to get those bigger next time around. But I just wanted to make this a little bit of a rant, but also I just want people to realize like being shredded is awesome. And don't let anybody tell you the different. And if you're young, it's going to be the easiest it's ever going to be. Once you hit, I think, 30, your testosterone just starts to decrease by like 1% a year or something like that. So once you hit over you know, that age, it's going to get harder. It's not possible. Guys, don't let anything get in your way. Don't let any excuses get in your way. Don't let other people's experience of this stuff get in your way. It is something you can maintain all year round. Now, it's probably not that fun, all right? The hardest thing, I will not say it was all sunshine and rainbows. I won't. The hardest thing was going out to eat with family. Because I was so strict on my diet that like I wouldn't have a single carbohydrate. Like I would try to avoid them at all. But when I went out family, I could still get something from the menu that I liked, you know? I think the hardest thing was people just trying to share their food with me, and I was just like, you know, no. But guys, I had a cheat meal. I would have a cookout almost every weekend. Me and the boys would get together, drink some beers, eat some pizza, hot dogs. Like, I'm talking every weekend, guys. And the next day we'd go to IHOP, I'd get a big old thing of like pancakes. That was my cheat meal. I guess I had two cheat meals the night before and day after. But after that, after the IHOP, pancake and waffles, all that, I was right back to it. You know, five, six days a week on it. And you can have those two days off. Do whatever you want. Enjoy it. You know, you really want to be on it, go with one cheat meal. You got to have, you know, some kind of balance. You got to find a way where you can, you're not going to be super miserable, you know. And I will tell you the beginning is the hardest. The beginning is the hardest. Getting on that diet is the hardest. After a month, it becomes second nature to you. It will. Just like most things. But, guys, in my experience, it was freaking awesome. And I want to get back there so bad. I just My legs are not at the size that I want them to be. But as soon as I feel like I'm squatting the weight I want, my legs are the size I want them to be, I'm cutting back down and I'm going to take it even further. Going to try to look even better than I did the first time. So that's, that's my experience with being shredded, guys. It's awesome. If you guys want any more tips on how I got shredded, I'll probably make a video on that. But if you guys have any questions about this or being shredded or whatever, leave it in the comments. I'll answer it. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day.